All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today, and I'm here to take a look at another State of Unreal 2023 trailer, uh, of course, and this is for the Lords of the Fallen, which, hey, I gotta give IGN some crap here. Uh, they call it just Lords of the Fallen. It's not Lords of the Fallen. It's the, the definitive Lords of the Fallen. Okay, whatever Lords of the Fallen there was before, <laughs> execute. doesn't exist. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. We got the Lords of the Fallen. This is the real one. Um, I played Lords of the Fallen. It was okay. Anyway, I never finished it, to be fair. But uh, it was okay. Anyway, so this is the Unreal Engine 5 trailer. So, uh, not really a trailer. I watched a smidgen of this during my Dead Island 2 video I did earlier today. And uh, just because it was just there, and I was like, wait, what? It was like the 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 un was it called the state of unreal was happening. I was like, let me see what they're doing, and I just watched like they were showing lighting. So not really a trailer because it's just something they showed during the thing. You know, it was like a demonstration more so, but whatever. We'll, we'll call it Unreal Engine Five like gameplay or whatever. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go. Three, two, one, and play. It's in four K. Oh, oh no. Well, maybe this is the trailer. Okay, no, never mind. This is the trailer. Welcome to the Lords of the Fallen okay, technical right. showcase. Okay, technical showcase. That's what it was. It's a trailer. Here at Hexworks, our goal has always been to create the most immersive game experience possible. Techworks? Is that What's that? Today, we're journeying to Skyrest Bridge, oh, one of the game's Skyrim. early locations, to demonstrate just some of the impressive ways we're Unreal Skyrim, Engine 5 state-of-the-art technologies have helped us deliver on this ambitious vision for our upcoming action RPG. It's looking nice. We want players to feel fully immersed in our world, by playing as their own unique virtual persona. Environments to achieve nice. this, we've used a combination of technologies, including 3D scans of real people and UE5's own character customization tech. Players cool. can create unique faces and bodies cool. by dynamically Hell yeah. morphing Make a fat guy. Yeah, it's me. Do it. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's far here. <laughs> Our extensive selection of armor sets seamlessly adapt to whatever shape the player chooses. It's really important Fat. to us that we represent oh, as wide a portion of our audience as possible. Bullshit! I'm a chunk boy. Being able to customize your hero in Lords of the Fallen is only the beginning. Ooh, Each nice and water every one of our Ooh, nice fire. is incredibly detailed oh, he's gonna win, using high-resolution textures. Get up close to any surface in the game, like this tunic for example, mm, and detailed can't do full texturing circles yet. provides incredible levels See those ridges of micro detail. How these objects move and behave is also crucial for player immersion. Okay, this is, this is what I saw. Chaos physics engine. I, I was watching a little bit of the thing and I saw this. I was like, Bloodborne? Because <laughs> Stray has the hat and everything. Facilitates advanced simulations for clothes, chains, hair, belts, and a whole lot more. This helps to substantially enhance the secondary motion in all our characters, making their movements look much more lifelike. The lighting in Lords of the Fallen takes full advantage the of Unreal's of brand new Lumen GI. We've been able to light our complex environments in real time, meaning we can immediately see the effect of a light bounce, for example, without waiting for the traditional slow baking processes. Watch how the lighting reacts as we yeah, move yeah, yeah, our light cool. source around this environment. Whoa, whoa, look at the move. Oh, shit. Global illumination like whoa. this can be quite demanding on processing. So we while they're rendering this, that's where they're like, oh, watch this shit. Oh, of emissive shapes. Whoa, to add orbs. additional details Enemies. to the lighting of any space. We that's can then cool. fine tune these light bounces on our nanite meshes, providing our world with impressive but what's levels casting of detail that light right and now? minimal impact no, on performance. Just those orbs. Those are Perhaps actually in the, the game. The important <laughs> element of Lords of the Fallen is the ability to travel between two worlds. The realm oh, of the living, the, the game Axiom, and the realm of the dead, Umbral. Cool, all We've right. created our so own can you do that whenever? tool set within UE5 that allows us to intricately craft these two environments side by side oh. and seamlessly swap between them. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like, uh, what was that game, The Medium, that tried to do that, where you like you have a, the regular world and then you have the dark world, but it's always the same environment, just different looking. Faceless dudes are scary. This means our artists and designers can ensure these worlds feel Whoa, intrinsically oh, cool. linked, 
like two sides of the same coin. I think so. Even That's if sick. one side is decidedly more horrific. Than hey. the other. Uh, they just added On some spookies. Thanks for watching today's brief tech Whatever. presentation. The yeah. twin realms of Umbral and Axiom await fearless adventurers later this year when Lord of the Fallen launches on PC and current gen consoles. Okay. I was gonna say when. Wait, is it just called Lords of the Fallen now? What the fuck? They just call it Lords of. I feel fucking betrayed. I'm betrayed. I'm upset. Dare to hope. <laughs> Dare to hope. Why is it? Maybe that'll make sense when the game comes out. I was like, why is that the tagline? Dare to hope. <laughs> hope they won't fucking die. They really did just get rid of the tha. Why? I like the Lords of the Fallen. Fuck. Now I'm upset. Now there's two games called fucking Lord of the Lords of the Fallen. Why don't you just call it Lords of the Fallen 2? Obviously, if you're going to make Lords of the Fallen, you're already going to have some people that are like, oh, I like that first game. So you might as well just call it 2, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like this is like a, a brand, you know? Um, you know, like, it's not it's not like already a part of a series, so just call it the same thing. You know, like Doom. When Doom 2016 came out, it was already a thing. But they call it Doom because it's Doom. So people are going to buy it or play it just because it's called Doom. Like, so if you're just going to, like, I, I don't know. If you could, like, Lords of the Fallen wasn't that big of a game, is all I'm saying. But you might as well call it two. But then if you call it, ah, no, I guess, I guess it works either way. If you call it Lords of the Fallen because people didn't play it first, eh, sure, why not? I would call it Lords of the Ring. <laughs> yeah, call it Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Do it. No balls. I would call it Lord of the Fallens. <laughs> I would call Lords of the Fell. Duh. How about dead? How about call it dead? Call it Dead Island Two. No, call it a. Call it a Battlefield nineteen forty three, twenty forty three. What was the new one that came out? Twenty forty three. Nineteen forty three is getting shut down now. So play your last games of that fucking game. Anyway, it does look really cool. I actually like the the like everything looked nice. I was like, yeah, it looks really good. I I don't know if it looked at any better than stuff you'd see in like. I guess even like an Elden Ring, um, the inside. I mean, it, de it definitely looked really good. Don't get me wrong. It probably looked better than that. But, um, uh, and then they showed that, uh, like, ooh, there's two different sides of each environment. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, I'm just not like the biggest Souls like guy. I'm assuming this is still going to be Souls like. Um, they didn't really show too much actual gameplay here. So I'm going just, I'm going, because Lords of the Fallen was, that was like the, the biggest thing about that game is that it was like one of the first games to pretty much ape the souls formula it wasn't the first i think there was a couple of indie games but it was like the biggest one at the time that just completely was like it's mine now i'm doing soul shit fucker and now it's just a genre so which is cool man. i'd rather it be a genre than just still be considered a ripoff you know you know people for the longest time people called every fps game a doom clone so Doom star is on genre. Kind of. Even though Wolfenstein was out before. But whatever. We're freaking... Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the next time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.